Hey guys, this is Hero Flamingo, and welcome to episode 3 of my Guild Wars 2 personal story walkthrough. In this episode, I'm going to be doing the personal story mission Wild Spirits. It's part of the uh, Norn starting personal story, uh, part of chapter 1, Forging a Legend, and it's the second quest in that chapter. So um, to get to this stage, uh, you have to have reached level 10 um, and completed the uh, previous one, the Great Hunt, which you can see on my last video if you haven't done it. Um, so when you do that, so when you get to level 10, you'll get a piece of mail, which you can access up here in your mailbox, and that comes from Fergan the Tracker. That says, Hey Slayer, I've got more trouble than I can handle on my caravan delivery routes, and Aester Golkin said I should talk to you. I need some serious muscle to help me get to where I'm going, and I reckon the Slayer of Isselmir has what it takes. Up for a challenge? Come see me and I'll make it worth your while. Fergan the Tracker. Okay, so once you've received that, that will uh, activate the uh, um, mission that you can go to. So if I click on my map, I can see that it takes me here by the Hero's Moot Waypoint, which is just outside Holbrack. Okay, so. Let's get started with the mission. Okay, so first thing we need to do is talk to Fergan at Hero's Moot. So let's see what he has to say. Ah, the Slayer. What a sight for sore eyes. Between the two of you, I'm sure you can solve my problem. I'm headed for Wolf Shrine. Now I've got the jitters about bringing my Dolyaks there. One of the spirits of the wild has gone insane, attacking caravans. It makes no sense for a spirit to do that. Exactly my problem. I can't figure it out. I do know it's got the Minotaurs around here riled up. Not the Minotaur, it's THE Minotaur. It's a spirit like bear or wolf. I'm a tracker by bear's bald but I know the difference. If such a spirit exists, it hasn't been seen in generations. Why would it show up now? All I know is that it's out there. Once we get going, you'll see for yourself. Right there. Let's go deal with this spirit. So, our objective at the moment is to defend the caravan. He's obviously uh, got to transport these goods, but uh, he's uh, worried about being attacked by the spirit, so we'll see what we can do to help him. We've got Aester Golkin with us as well, one of the founding members of Destiny's Edge, so we should be alright. If you watched the last episode, you noticed that obviously I've had to level up to level 10 since then, so I I've got quite a few more skills and I've got my weapon swap as well. So. Keep watch of those bushes, and up in the trees. Minotaurs in the trees? It's not some mere minotaur. It's a spirit of the wild, the granddaddy of all minotaurs. Hush now. I heard something. Right, I'm not sure what direction they're going to come from. Let's keep an eye out. Oh, okay. <laughs> those minotaurs to attack but what the spirit it's here to protect its kind what's gotten it so frantic right we're gonna carry on When you uh, kill enemies in a personal story instance mission like this, you won't actually get any loot, you notice, so the when the enemies don't actually drop any loot. But generally what happens is, at the end of the mission, you'll get your reward and you'll get a few items and take up for it. Full stampede. Oh dear. Don't 
see me coming next time. See the Tholiac saw freaking out a little bit over there. Clearly they don't like it. Come now, my Doliax. It's okay. Come on, mate. Bit quicker. These bits can be a bit frustrating if they're really slow. <laughs> Um, Do you see that? Oh dear. Minotaurs are acting strangely, but that does not mean we're dealing with the spirit of the wild. You youngsters know nothing. This isn't normal. Something is provoking the guardian spirit of the Minotaurs. Even if that's true, it doesn't explain what's going on. What is the spirit reacting to? What is it trying to accomplish? There's one way to find out. I saw the spirit down by the river in a form solid enough to leave tracks. An enterprising tracker could follow the trail. Leave it to me. I'll go to the river and follow the tracks until I figure this out. While you're doing that, I'll be at my homestead in Holbrook if you need me. Good luck. If Fergan's beast exists, I know you'll find it. Lovely, there you go. So that's Wild Spirits completed. So let me just choose my reward. Uh, it's the same as the ones I've got anyway, but okay. Get a four slot leather, four slot leather bag, choice of gloves, three bags of loot. Like I said, to make up for not being able to loot the enemies, and fifty copper. Lovely. Let's have a little look. Yeah, as you see, each bag's got a few things in it, so it makes up for not having to uh, loot anything. Perfect. So uh, I'll leave you there and. In the next episode, I'll be doing the next mission. So thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe to be kept up to date. Um, and check out my beginner's guide as well if you're just getting started. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.